Artificial intelligence is taking the world by storm, including the world of supply chain management. But how exactly is AI affecting supply chain management? That's what I want to talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world with their digital transformation journeys. And supply chain management is one of the areas that we most commonly work in. We help clients evaluate and implement different technologies and process improvements to improve their supply chain. And one of the biggest challenges supply chain managers see today is not only is the world of supply chain management changing rapidly because of COVID and the post-COVID world that we're in and this global uncertainty that we face, but also because of artificial intelligence. How is artificial intelligence impacting supply chains and how could it improve our supply chains? Those are just some of the questions I wanna talk about and answer here in today's video. Now, before I dive into today's content, I wanna share with you a resource that I think would be super helpful. As I mentioned, Third Stage Consulting consults organizations throughout the world on how to improve their supply chains and the technologies that go along with their supply chains. And to learn more about some of the best practices we found, I encourage you to download our guide to supply chain management. You can find that via the QR code in front of you or the links below. This guide will share with you a number of best practices, emerging trends, as well as top 10 rankings of different types of technology that can help your supply chain. So if you wanna learn more about that, check out the QR code in front of you to download it for free, or you can go to the links below. Before we dive too far into today's content, I wanna share a little bit of information about Third Stage Consulting and who we are. Third Stage Consulting Group is an independent technology agnostic provider of consulting services to help clients through their digital transformations. We help with digital strategy and software selection, as well as implementation planning. And during implementation, we provide services related to program management, organizational change, business process improvement, as well as enterprise architecture. These are just some of the services we provide. We have offices in North America, as well as Europe and Asia Pacific. So if you'd like to learn more, I encourage you to check out our resource center, which includes a number of resources that will help you through your digital transformation. And you can access that for free using the QR code here or the links below. You can also reach out to me directly if you'd like to discuss your digital transformation and brainstorm ideas on how to improve where you're headed on your journey. Now let's jump back into today's content. Effective supply chain management begins with a solid understanding of customer demand. If you understand what your customer's demands are, it's gonna be a lot easier to plan and predict how you need to purchase raw materials, produce whatever product it is you're producing, and then get that product to your end customer. So it all starts with effective demand forecasting, and AI is ripe to address this problem that organizations have historically had regarding accurate demand forecasts. Organizations struggle to find the right data and to make sense of all the data they do have to identify what they think demand is going to be. And that variation between predicted versus actual demand is something that can create challenges in supply chains. If our forecast is off and we're inaccurate in our forecast, we're gonna be planning our entire supply chain around faulty assumptions. So wouldn't it be great if we could get a better handle on customer demand, knowing that we're not gonna get it perfect, but we could potentially get a lot closer with some of the artificial intelligence tools that are out there today. I'll give you a couple examples of different data points that AI can use to help predict demand. If you look at traditional supply chain or enterprise resource planning systems, ERP or supply chain management systems, those two technologies house a lot of transactional data around customer purchase history. So a lot of data around how seasonality has affected your business, how demand has ebbed and flowed over time. And the better data we have in our ERP systems or our supply chain management systems, the more likely it is that we're gonna be able to accurately predict the future. However, historic information only gives you so much of an understanding of what the future holds. AI allows us to now dip into other data sources, maybe even outside of our organization to help us better understand and predict how customer demand might evolve over time. For example, if you are selling a product that is highly seasonal or based on weather patterns, think of someone that sells ice cream or anything else that people like to consume during summer months or maybe some type of product that is preferable to be consumed during winter months like hot chocolate. You look at producers of those types of products and if we can predict what weather patterns are gonna do in different parts of the world, we could use that data and artificial intelligence could make sense of that data combined with our internal historic data to now provide a more robust and a more refined model of how customer demand might evolve in the future. 
And this is just a very small example. There's a lot of different data sources we could use around macroeconomic trends, regional trends, just general consumer behavior, a lot of different data sources out there that maybe we're not even looking at today, or if we are looking at it, we're just trying to make qualitative sense of it. But now with the power of AI computing, we can be taking those data sources and providing a better foundation for customer demand going forward. Now let's assume we do have a very solid customer demand forecast. We understand with a high degree of precision what customer demand is going to be. That only gets us so far. That gives us a starting point. Now we've got to figure out our entire supply chain and how we're going to build our supply chain transactions and activities to support that demand forecast. And in today's world, with fragmented data and fragmented systems and incomplete data and systems, organizations struggle even with the best demand forecast in mind or in hand, they still struggle to plan their supply chains to effectively meet whatever that consumer demand is. So here's where we start to look at inventory management. If we can better understand the raw materials we need to acquire and when we need to acquire them and when we need to have the finished products in place and where we need to have those finished products in place, which distribution center, which warehouse do we need to send that finished product to, then we can more effectively meet the customer demand that we forecasted. So if you think about customer demand and the forecast we've created, now we've got to back up from there and take all these different data points to figure out how do we work backwards to satisfy that demand at the time we think we need to satisfy the demand. Now, an easy answer would be just to stockpile a bunch of inventory. Just keep a bunch of inventory on hand at all your different warehouses or distribution centers, but that's cost prohibitive, it's highly inefficient, it's highly unprofitable for organizations to do that, and it involves a huge outlay of cash. So the better we can optimize and plan when we need raw materials, when we need to manufacture the raw materials, and when we need to get the finished product to customers, the better off we're gonna be. And so inventory management is something that AI is ripe to help us optimize as well, because now it can take the outputs from the demand forecast that AI also helped us generate, and it can now allow us to understand when and how and where we need to acquire certain raw materials produce those materials and ultimately have them on our shelves in our warehouse and ultimately to our customers in their shelves at their warehouse. So inventory management and the forecasting of what inventory we need, when and where we need it, is something that AI is completely transforming in the world of supply chain management. In the world of manufacturing, there's been a concept that's been around for decades now, and it's called material resource planning. So to simplify, MRP is a complex way of taking all these different inputs, ranging from your demand forecast to your inventory on hand, to figuring out how you're gonna produce the materials and the finished materials you need to satisfy your customers. And if you think about it, you're starting with this end demand forecast that tells you when a customer needs something or when you think they're gonna need something, but now we've gotta back up and figure out when do we need to manufacture that product. And MRP is the technology that ties together all those pieces to allow you to manage the production in a way that allows you to satisfy that demand. And MRP is something, even though it's been around forever, it's been around for a long time, companies still struggle to this day to do MRP well. And the reason for that is because it's a very complex process that requires a lot of data inputs, and most organizations don't have good data and don't have good systems to help them accurately predict demand. And MRP, even though it's been around for decades now, has been something that organizations struggle with even today. And the reason for that is because they typically have siloed systems, they've got siloed data that's not accurate, and they don't have access to a lot of data and information that would help them better anticipate when they need to produce certain products. So with the advent of AI, now suddenly we have a mechanism and a tool that can take mass amounts of complex data and allow us to better understand and think about how we're going to manufacture and when we're gonna manufacture the products we need without relying on all that tribal knowledge and all the spreadsheets and the incomplete data and the intuition and all that stuff we rely on today, now suddenly AI is gonna make it a little bit easier for us to make sense of that mass amount of complex data. So as we're thinking about how we're gonna move raw materials and finished goods around our supply chain, one of the big components of that is logistics and transportation. If we're manufacturing something overseas, we've got to figure out how to get that product onto a boat and get it to our distribution center. If we're working domestically, we've got to figure out how to get a finished product from a warehouse or distribution center to our end customer. We've got to figure out how to source raw materials and how to get it, the raw materials from wherever we're getting it to wherever we need it to manufacture the finished product. So there's a lot of logistics and transportation that goes into any supply chain. Another very complex management of a very complex network 
that is fleets and trucks and ships and all the different ways that we're going to use to get our raw materials and our finished goods to where they need to be. Again, AI is perfectly suited for these very complex processes that require lots of data, mass amounts of data that most humans can't comprehend, and most humans can't even comprehend it well enough to, to plug it into a system or a spreadsheet to give them the answers they're looking for. But with AI, not that it's a silver bullet, not that it's easy, it does give you a tool set that now allows you to optimize your logistics and your transportation to not only drive higher profits, but also to help organizations manage their carbon footprint too. A lot of governments throughout the world today are imposing regulations on how much of an impact an organization has on the climate and on the environment. And AI doesn't fix all the world's problems, but it is something that can be used to help improve and manage and track what the impact to the environment is. So if you're an organization that's based in the EU, for example, the European Union requires certain reporting on how you're impacting the environment, and AI is something that can help track that for you. So logistics and transportation is something that can be well managed using some of the modern AI tools available today. So far, I've talked about how AI can help process data and make sense of data and make recommendations on how to manage a supply chain. But there's also the generative AI side of things that can help a supply chain. Generative AI is sort of like your ChatGPT or your Dolly. If you've used either of those tools and you've asked it to create a picture or asked it to write something for you, that's generative AI. It's creating something for you based on parameters you gave it. And you think about supply chain management, there's a lot of generation that humans have to do that's highly inefficient or could be more efficient with AI. You think about something as simple as creating a product master. We're acquiring a new raw material and we've got to create a product master or an item master. And creating that item master in your system has historically been a manual process, but now generative AI can help offload that. You also have vendor masters. As you track and create new vendors in your system, all the different raw materials providers that you work with, for example, you can now use generative AI to create those vendor masters within your system. And then in the world of manufacturing within supply chains, you have the bill of materials. And the bill of materials is essentially a hierarchy of how raw materials come together to create your finished product. And that's something you have to have in your system so that you can manage your MRP and your production and some of the things we talked about earlier. And generative AI is well suited to help create bills of material, especially if you're a highly engineered, make to order sort of environment where there's a lot of engineering design and CAD drawings that need to go into your bill of materials. AI can be a game changer in those cases as well. So these are just a few examples of how generative AI can enhance and optimize supply chain management as well. So I hope this has given you an overview of how artificial intelligence is changing the world of supply chain management and how it can change your world of supply chain management within the supply chain you work in. But I'd love to hear from you. How is your supply chain using AI today or how is it thinking about using AI? Is it thinking about using AI? I'd love to hear your comments in the comment field below. In addition, you can also learn more about supply chain management and technologies and digital transformation in the world of supply chain management by downloading our guide to supply chain management. It's a free resource that we offer on our website. You can find that by going to the QR code right here, or you can go to the description field for the links below. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day. Now, just because we have good customer demand, nope, and just human, in, in, and human sites, and in, human sites, that does not make sense to figure out how when, man. <laughs>